right, here is a short video on a programming technique which is probably useful in larger applications here. Uh, this is something I've been working on, which is a um, music automation system, which is irrelevant to what we're doing. Turn off those tooltips. But the problem is I've got 12 buttons up here. i got more down here. i got four more, but it's 12 buttons. Processing each of these buttons is essentially the same, um, but they are 12 distinct buttons. They have a lot of code to them because there's a lot of things I can do in each button. I can do a left click, I can do a right click, I can do a, a left click with the control button held down, um, I can just I can do a, um, a left click holding the click down and dragging. For example here if I uh, holding down the left button, notice the uh, hand changed, I dragged the tile across the screen and so forth. So there's a lot of different processing of these 12 buttons that can take place. Uh, and the problem is, now if we go to the Glade on this, you can see there's the Glade. They're numbered uh, P1, P2 over on the left-hand side here, P3, P4, and so forth, and they all got container things in them. Uh, these are the buttons, uh, and they all have separate IDs. Uh, so they're all going to have to have separate uh, functions to handle the signals that come from these. So now each one of these has... Um, has a lot of signals down here. Uh, you can see there's the clicked, there's the button press event, there's the drag begin, drag get, drag drop, drag end, um, and scroll event. Uh, that's another thing I forgot about in there. You can actually hit the rollers. So there's a lot of signals uh, to be handled on these buttons. Uh, and uh, But they're all handled the same way. The only difference is the button number. All right. Is there a way of getting around that? I'll, uh, I should probably kill this because it does use time. Uh, here is a, an example of just part of it. This is the button press event signal handler for all 12 buttons. It's a macro. Now, macros right, in making, mac, writing macros in C is kind of messy. Um, so I'm just doing this basically to show you the, this is how you do it. So if you keep it simple, it'll work. Um, so there's 12 buttons numbered 1 through 12. They should have been numbered 0 through 11, but I wasn't going to go back in and change everything. So you'll see, um, like right here, see the minus 1? You know, the minus 1 there. That's because number is 1 through 12, and it should have been 0 through 11, but don't tell anybody. All right, um, how do we do the macro? And you can see here's the instantiate. Here's the macro up here. This is the macro. If you haven't played with macros before, that's the macro. And each of these invokes the macro and fills it in with the value 1. This invokes it again and fills it in with the value 2. So I am going to have 12 copies of this code inserted at this point. And those 12 copies are only going to differ by this this number 1, 2, 3, 4, up through 12, um, which is really all it needs. That's, they're all handling the same thing. Anyway, it's the button press event. And the signal handler is, uh, the return type is gboolean, and it is on, now I'll say, say it the way, say if, if it's for, P, for button number 1, it would, should read on p1 underscore button press event. And then the next line here is parameters. Um, but instead, as you can see, it reads on P, pound sign, pound sign, blank, NBR, blank, pound sign, pound sign. That formula right there causes the value of number to be inserted into the text. And what the compiler will see, because the macro preprocessor runs first and then the compiler gets the output of it, um, the compiler will see on P, followed by a number, 0 through, excuse me, 1 through 12, Follow by an underscore, follow, it'll see it correctly. You won't see the pound sign number at all. Now, in a macro, these are, this is all g technically one long giant line. Uh, see the backslashes here. The backslash means the next line. It's continued on the next line. You could make it one giant long line, but that's not easy to edit. So I wrote it the way you'd normally write it with indentations and so forth. And uh, but I use the backslash. You got to be careful you, uh, not to drop the backslashes, or the macro will be terminated prematurely. Another thing when you're doing macros is uh, you have to use the old-fashioned um, or standard type of comment slash star something something star slash. You can't use double slash because it'll eat the backslash, and you don't want that. All right, so uh, it's doing a variety of things. It comes down here. I'll just give you an idea what's going on. The next line here is the parameters. You get the button pointer. You get an event pointer and some user data, which I don't use. 
in the button pointer, or excuse me, in the event is a element called state. And if the state is GDK control mask, it means that the button was pressed while the control key was hit. And if that's the case, whoops, I just hit, I just hit an enter key. Um, if the if that's the case, then I I change the cursor to a hand. I um, I place a va this is an integer declared elsewhere. It's drag source. Um, this is an integer also. It, it tells me um, the contents of the button. It's a it's a pointer. It's, it's a it's an index into an array, and so the it's the index into the array of the upper left uh, tile, because there can be pages and pages of tiles. Um, Plus NBR. NBR is the button number one, two, three, four. Yeah, but, but it should have been zero through eleven. So you see, I subtract one from it and I get the zero. But there's the there's the value that's come through as the parameter uh, from the uh, from the macro definition up here. If I didn't mention, that's the macro definition. There's where NBR is. You can have multiple parameters. I only needed one. That's very often going to be the case. And so otherwise, if it's um, it goes on and uh, fills things and it returns true because no further processing is required at this point <coughs> um if it wasn't a um, gdk control mask uh, situation in other words you weren't holding down a control key when you click the button it comes down does some other processing and returns um false in the case of an ordinary left click or it returns uh, true in the case of a right click that's a right click um after it uh, after it runs a program that um, um, that shows you the contents of the file's metadata, and displays it as a pop-up menu. So uh, let me do let me bring that up. Is it still running here? No, I killed it. Bring it back up. Okay, it takes a moment over here. You see the wait um, and as it's connecting to uh, Pulse. But if I right-click on it, you see up pops uh, something with the metadata. And there's very little metadata in these files. If I hold down the um, if I hold down the left button and drag it, you can see it drags. If I hold down the control key and click, uh, it has registered the fact that I have uh, that it's in a drag situation. I can move to someplace else, and I can click it, and it will insert it there. Whoops! Well, inserted it, and it also started it. Well, um, yeah. Okay, it stopped. Um, if I'd held down the control button while I was inserting, it would have inserted and also uh, not played it. But yes, uh, the, the point of all this is that uh, you can do macros. And the macros are sort of like subroutines. They're not, of course, because it's going to create actually um, 12 instances of that code. But it does mean that you, can, you, you only need to change the code in one place for it to be effective in all 12 places, which is kind of goal you want. You can't really use arrays here, uh, which is another possibility, uh, um, because the Glade requires each ID to have a uh, to be unique, and so um, so we're going to have to have in unique functions. You could have a, a stub of a function header that it calls another function. That's another way of doing it. I prefer the macro. You end up with uh, something similar, um, maybe a little more code um, in in your program than. Um, but it, uh, I think it simplifies it.